reasonably confident I'm gonna need a neckyotomy and a backyotomy. Doctor said I need a backyotomy. Wow. Mongrel seeds on those plants. How much sleep did you get, babe? <laughs> I got like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Jetstar, where the flatbed's at. Robin and I just got into mum's. I just hit a massive brick wall with my tiredness. So I'm gonna go and have a, a quick nap and then I'm gonna go get the car and get on with the day. Oh my god, it's nearly midday, babe. We gotta get up. Oh. And, uh, this is one of my dad's cars here. Uh, usually, stays in one of his, uh, in a garage, one of his vacant properties. Um, my car's in the garage. So this has been here for the last few weeks now. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Come on, you burger. We've caused a... Uh, you never bloody believe it, you? We've caused a, a traffic jam. Not five meters from, from the driveway. Yeah, why didn't it stop what was going on, right? Dad's putting his car back for God knows how long now. And I get my Jeep back. She's looking a bit dirty, babe. I think I might need to go get her cleaned. Look at these wheels. Um, this house is vacant. Dad's renovating at the moment. It's actually, I was just telling Robin, it's actually the house I kind of grew up in when I was fairly young. Uh, probably until grade one or two, then we moved to Brisbane. Fun fact, this here room was my dad's old office. Um, and he had like a trading set up on this wall here and this exactly was the very first location the location where I took my very first trade ever um, it was 1999 I was in grade 5 I was 10 years old 9 years old before June start of 1999 I bought Telstra shares $500 worth of Telstra shares first ever trade was right here um, didn't make money on that trade <laughs> but it got the ball rolling and uh, I made a dollar or two since then. We're heading. We're going. Oh, oh I missed the Jeep. <laughs> had a shower, had a coffee, feeling great. Um, Robin here has cleverly transferred our remaining clean clothes from our big bags into our smaller bags. again. How did that look? Ugh. Hey baby. Come on. <laughs> Gotta go the extra mile for the vlog babe. Yeah but I'm hungry. <laughs> Robin's angry and I'm doing these <laughs> elaborate shots for the Jeep. <sighs> Alright let's go. Those of you guys who have been following the vlog for a little while will know that Robin and I are homeless at the moment. There's a Ferrari there. So for this next few weeks, um, our job is to kind of find somewhere, find a place that we want to chill out until we move into the new place on the 17th of March. Hey. <laughs> awesome, Thanks, cool. Man. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Shower curtain test has been passed. We're in business, babe. Robin's criteria is that she wanted to be near a beach and she wanted one with a gym. My criteria was that it had a pool bar. I got my laptop, I got my swimmers. We're going down to the pool bar. You ready? 
Strongest cocktails that you have? Is it? Is it like? Oh, is it? Do you, a, do, you a, do you guys do a Long Island iced tea? We do. That's a little bit more than half I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, that's good. That is good. after the key. I always lose it. The pool bar was incredible. Uh, my Long Island iced tea, incredible. We are now gonna go down to the beach and do a little afternoon swim. We, we stayed on the beach in Bali. We were there a couple nights back. Um, but you know, the beaches in Bali, they just do not compare to Australian beaches. Oh my god, that swim was incredible. I was just saying to Robin, potentially the highlight of 2016 so far. So good. We are just headed over the road for dinner. Um, there's a restaurant over there that has Robin's number one gnocchi in all of the planet, in all of the world. A favorite gnocchi, which is a big call because we eat a lot of gnocchi. Tomorrow, we've got uh, an interesting series of events happening. I will be vlogging as of uh, as soon as I wake up. See you then, cheeky buggers. They're gonna be a new catchphrase.